What's up everybody? This is Father Son DIY Garage. Steve and Joe here. And today we're going to be turning this pipe into a vertical direct heat smoker. Watch how we do it. Alright, you guys got the idea for this build when I got this pipe on offer up. Got it for about 25 bucks. Pretty nice budget build. This pipe is 20 inch in diameter and 4 feet tall. And we kicked this project off by um, getting some diamond plate steel. And what we're going to do is trace it out and cap one of the ends off. So here you see me finishing grinding it out. Now we're going to take it over and put it on top. Give it a tack weld all the way around. If you guys haven't been here before, this is Father Son DIY Garage. Me and my dad build little DIY projects in the garage. So if you guys like what you see, give us a subscribe. And here you see me finishing the weld all the way around the top of the pipe. Sanding it a little bit, making it look nice. And here you'll see us lay out the doors. This bottom door that we're doing is going to be our fuel door, where we put charcoal and um, lumber and all that, firewood. And then here we are marking out the top door, and that's going to be where you'll be able to access all three of our racks that we're going to install. I know it's a lot of video, but I felt it was necessary just to see how we did the whole process. And here you'll see me cutting out just the one side of the door on each of them. And this will give us room to put our hinges. Here we are bending our hinges at a rebar. We give it the 90 degree turn and then what we do is we have to match the radius of the tank. So you'll see us bending it. Here we are, rolling on our half inch rod, our rebar. We like to weld the hinges on before we cut the whole door out. Just so when it closes, we know it's in the exact same spot as where it started. There I am going inside the pipe, welding some rebar inside. And the reason for this is that this is a piece of sheet metal rolled into a pipe. So those pieces of rebar are going to keep the pipe from wanting to expand back out into a sheet. So it'll keep us at a nice radius. There we are tacking up all the trim for the door. We decided to just do a couple welds here and there instead of welding the whole thing. Just because this is some thin sheet metal. It's about eighth inch, so we don't want to overheat it and cause it to bend. Now it's time to work on the inside. So what we did was we took some little pieces of angle iron we cut out, about two inches, and we're gonna tack weld those all along the inside of the tank. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna hold up each one of our racks. So you see us testing it out. This build is gonna have three levels for cooking. Here's my dad cutting out all the grates for barbecuing. And now it's time to cut out the smokestack. This is from a three inch pipe that I got off a job site. Perfect for the top of this pipe. This was kind of a pain because I didn't have a hole saw the right size for this. So I had to kind of get fancy with the grinder and do a little circular cut. Finally got it out though. Welded that to the top. Of 
welded the whole thing all around. Then it was time to put the top cap on. There you see me tack welding it on. Little progress report right there. After those tack welds, it was time to give it a full weld all the way around. It was then time to start doing the base. You see we grabbed some square tubing here, I'm cutting it out. The idea for this base is that we're going to have the pipe all the way off the ground. Just because it's going to be real hot in the bottom with all the coals and charcoal and all that. So. We don't want it to ruin the concrete or anything, so we decided to lift it off the ground. Once I got a nice little X, I welded it up. I made sure to get every side on this because I want it to be nice and strong. Don't need this breaking off or anything. And you'll see me cutting out the feet here at a 45 degree angle. There it is, all the feet welded on. And you'll see I'm adding a little circular piece of metal just for stability. And uh, I think it'll make it look a little better also. So we welded one of those on each of the legs. Here I am cleaning all my welds up and uh, just adding a little extra welds on them, make sure it's nice and strong. And then time for the test. A little wobbly, but looks good to go. Nice little lift on. We made sure to level this out real nice and then add some welds to it. We want to make sure the bottom of this is welded really nice. So I just put a whole weld all the way around that X we had at the beginning. Made it nice and strong and now it's time for paint. 